One of my favorite things about playing Software Inc. over the years is coming back to the game and seeing everything that has changed since I last played it. Obviously, the game has had a couple of graphical overhauls throughout the years. It used to look a certain way, and now it looks another way. It looks better now. The models look better. The computers look better. And for the longest time, the room dividers didn't look all that great. You might have spotted already that the room dividers now happen to look better. That's because there was an update to Software Inc. between this episode and the last. That update was, by the time this episode goes out, probably about a week ago, if not more. And there's just a bunch of new stuff. There's new furniture that I'm really excited to take a look at. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a very quick look at some of the new stuff. And then let's get to work on forging a path forward with Nerdrasoft. Now, like I mentioned, there are new room dividers. I say new, these models are replacing the old ones, which do still exist. The old room dividers are very, very basic, very, very flat. You just change the color. These ones are pretty similar to a lot of other things in that you now can change a whole bunch of colors, but you can also go in and change the look of the object with different patterns as well. I'm kind of a fan of this one. I think it looks pretty solid. I think that's the one I'm using. I don't really know, but I, I like I like the simple ones. I think they do the job and they do what they need to do. I'm actually going to select all of these and see what it looks like if I change the look like like that. I think maybe we do go for this one instead, actually. We'll go for that in this uh, in this room. And you might have also noticed that there happens to be some new desks as well. So this is called the adjustable desk, the adjusting desk. It is basically a standing desk. It doesn't stand up the way a standing desk would in real life, but it is a very more, it's a very modern looking desk when compared to what we've been using throughout this office everywhere else. I absolutely adore it. You can get it in white and black by default. It doesn't have the computer in the center the way the different desks did in here before, but that's completely fine. I'm not really too worried about that. It looks great and it just it just suits the office. It's also a really, really good looking model. There's also been an overhaul to the plants. The desk tree thing looks a little bit better. The cactus looks a little bit different and the large standing plants have new models as well we can go in here and we can have the original we can have this guy we can have that boy and we can have this chungus if we happen to want it i'm kind of a fan of this one in that corner and think it looks pretty solid if i do say so myself and then finally there are some new lights we've got these sort of long thin ceiling lamps we have this guy we have light bars it's just a bunch of stuff to make the game look a little bit more modern a little bit more pretty and I happen to really enjoy every little bit of it. Like I said, I love coming back to this game and seeing what's new and what's changed. I love watching it change. It's been one of my favorite things about playing Software Inc. over the last five, six, seven, eight, I don't know how many years. It's, I just love it. I really, really do. Oh, there's also this guy. I almost forgot to mention, there's like a really cool triangle light that I thought looked great in this office. I stand by that. I think it looks great in this office. And then finally, I want to come down to the canteen because there is a new chair that we can go ahead and swap all these guys out for. We now have a dining chair and it happens to come in a variety of styles as well. So we can go and change the look of this guy. We have this one, we have this one, we have this one, and we have the one with the little, little arms on it that I happen to love. So that's the one that we're going to be going for. And then color wise, <laughs> I don't really know uh, what color to go for with this? We could go for, have I got the orange on my, no, that is definitely not Nerdrasoft orange at all. Would Nerdrasoft like blue, like the really light blue from here look good on those? Or is it going to look terrible? I feel like I know what the answer to that question is going to be. If I'm completely honest with myself, but we're gonna, we're gonna see, uh, how that looks. And honestly, honestly... I don't actually mind that. So I'd like to select, uh, I'd like to select all of these, please. And I would like to uh, not have my workers get in my way here because that's getting really annoying. Uh, the seats are going to be blue. The supports are going to be that color there, I guess. And that's pretty solid, actually. I like that a lot. Now, I will say I'm not going to go through the entire office and replace everything right now. That is a whole lot of work that I'm not prepared to do because I want to focus on the future of Nerdrasoft because we are not that far away from my character, you know, hanging up, hanging up the old, the old development, basically. That's, that's kind of where we're at. So we want to, uh, let's get the best employer awards out here. 
just because that that seems like the right thing to do. We have a lot of awards that we're not putting up right now. And it's going to be a little bit bittersweet because I'm not going to be here for the 2025 award. I'm not I'm not going to be. We've had best employer every year for over over 20 years now, which is which is amazing. That is an amazing legacy for for Nerdsoft and I'm very very proud of that. Now let's have a look at our releases and see how we're doing. So 50 Honestly, 50 million on Hellshock 3 is not bad. Past month profits, the top was Canvas 8, which is pretty good as well. And obviously, it says we're heading for bankruptcy because I spent 547 million here, but we turned 18 million last month, which again, I'm completely here for, and I think is completely fine. We're doing all right. It's also constantly notifying me that my subsidiary is heading for bankruptcy as well. They're not. It's just that they had a lot of money, and now they don't have a lot of money, which is completely, completely fine. Now, the good news is that Saturn is ready to jump forward into beta. This is going to be our console operating system. I want to get this. Oh, I, want to, I want to release this thing before I, I kind of want to release this thing before I leave the company. You know, I, I really do. But. That would give me September, October, November. That would give me three months marketing if we try to release this thing in December. I'd have to release it in November to see the profits myself as well, which is kind of the problem. So, mm, I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think we can do it. I'm not going to be here to see this thing get released, unfortunately. We are going to go for a release date. Actually, we need to look at the competition first. Uh, let's see. Event calendar. What have we got? Do we have any consoles coming up in December? We do not. Do we have any console operating systems at all next year? We do. We have Y Unit Connect 16. We have Mars Connect right there. Oh man, releasing a console outside of December seems like a weird choice. We yeah, do I want to sneak it in this December? I sort of do, but that's also not going to give us a lot of develop a uh, lot of beta time. Let's do June. Let's go for June 2025 for the Saturn console. It sucks that I'm not going to be here for it, but it's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to commit to that. We are going to start the marketing process. We'll give it to the marketing team. Move that right up to the top. We are going to go to uh, press build this thing as well. I could review it. That would probably be beneficial, but we're going to promote it forward. It's going to be okay. The Saturn controllers being worked on as well by the console team. Let's have them prioritize, and they are prioritizing Saturn itself, which is fine. And then King Doom Guardians. The art's a little bit slow on that one, but it's getting there. And so maybe King Doom Guardians. I mean, it's going to have a decent beta time as well. What do we go for in Saturn? It was June 2025. Let's set King Doom Guardians for, I want to say April, because I might be able to port it over to Saturn for release. I think that'd be a really, really good thing to do. So let's also give this to my marketing team, move that up to here, and let me, I guess, hmm, let me also give this a press build and see how that goes as well. So now it is the morning of December 2024, which is a weird sentence that doesn't really make sense, but it is what it is. And that should mean that this is going to be my last day with Nerdresoft. You can see, oh God, look at the, hold on, let me get this camera going here. Where am I? Look at the, look at the, oh God, I'm so old. <laughs> I'm so old, man. Oh, I hate this part of the game. It shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter, but it does. This guy's been with the company for, for how long? 44 years, 44 years. And I'm not even gonna be here to see Kingdom Guardians go out. I'm not even gonna be here to see the Saturn console go out. Ah, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> We've got Hellshock 4 going out in May, which is good. We've got Longsword 14 in March. We've got Nerdersoft Wave 15 in April. 2025 actually could be a pretty good year for the uh, for the company, which is, uh, I don't know. It's, it's an exciting time. Oh, God, it's, there we go. I've retired. 
Oh no. Oh, 45 years with Nerdversoft and I'm gone. That should mean the core team. Yeah, core team just lost their leader as well. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so much. It means we need to hire a new person is what it means. Uh, are you any good, Renee? I mean, there's no point making you a leader. You're going to be going in a couple of years as well. I need to bring in... Need to bring in someone new is, is what I need to do. <laughs> need to bring in someone new. So let's do, oh, we need to do human resources. We don't typically give the core team any automated tasks. So we'll do, we'll do HR and multitasking. That seems fair. And let's see. I mean, who have we, who have we got? We've got some great compatibility here, which is fantastic. So Sandra McCarthy. You could be our new, our new CEO is basically what you'd be stepping into. Maureen does not have the same skills. Stefan, I mean, realistically, Sandra McCarthy kind of has the best out of all the, the service stuff. So yeah, Sandra McCarthy is going to be the new, <laughs> it makes no sense. This person's never been with the company, but yeah, that's, that's how it works. The leader of the core team, canonically, is now the CEO of the company. <laughs> don't know. Uh, I don't know about that, but, you know, it's it's fine. Let's get you set up as secondary in both of those. And that means that uh, that Sandra is... Uh, Sandra probably wants, like, a new office, right? Sandra probably wants to, like, re come in here and redecorate a little bit. I don't, <laughs> don't know if it really matters. But, uh, yeah, I think let's, let's redecorate this office just ever so slightly. I'm not going to spend forever doing this, but I want to just, um, I don't know. I think changing it up a little bit is probably not a bad idea. You know, just move things around ever so slightly, make it look a little bit more, I don't know, it, not mine anymore because it's not, which is really, really sad. <laughs> Wait, where did the awards go? Oh, no. Oh, God. Why, what are they doing? What is, what is that? Why are they, why are the awards not moving with the shelves and why are the shelves being all sorts of weird? Wait a minute, we do functionally have a CEO, which, oh, oh, that changes things. Oh, that changes things. I, so I can go to my employee details and make you the CEO of the company. I, I'm going to do that because that's effectively what you're supposed to be. Now, that's a weird feeling, but that is that is what's going on, and that is how that works. And we do have the new office all set up. It is very different looking to the old one. The awards are gone. They're not deleted. They're just in the inventory of the company, which is fine. But I, I'm kind of having a... I'm having a little bit of a Harry Potter, how dare you stand where he stood moment because this was my office for the longest time and now it isn't. It's a, it's a little bit more decorative than mine was, 
I actually kind of like how this looks. It's just that it's not my office anymore. And that's, that's a weird, weird feeling. <laughs> Now, in other news, we are being offered 34 million for the Nerdsoft Wave IP, which is hilarious to me, considering that Wave 14 to 100 million dollars in the last two years. So, understandably, that's going to be a no. Is is what that's going to be? We're not we're not going to be selling anybody the, the Wave intellectual property because it does very well for us. Man, I can't. <laughs> I can't look at this office. It's really upsetting. <laughs> I can't believe it's just, uh, it's such a weird feeling. It is such a weird feeling, but I mean, it's, it's, it's what happens. I was with the company for 45 years from, from day zero up until, up until where we are now. So, I mean, that's, that's just, that's just how it goes. That's just, that's just how it is. Uh, it's just how these things work. I will say it is kind of cool that you can assign someone as the CEO of the company and then essentially they don't have a salary. It does make me wonder if I was to go to your details. So I can't fire you, which is interesting. I can change your name though, which is something that's, it's a weird, it's weird. It is weird. <laughs> it is a really weird feeling, but it's, it's cool. I mean, it, yeah, it's it means I guess in theory I could actually bring in I could actually hire someone specifically to be the CEO and they would just sit there and do nothing if they weren't on a team. That's kind of cool. But man, I'm <laughs> I'm just I'm a little bit so look at it. It's not my office. It's just it's weird. It's really really weird, but you know what? It's all right. Let me go ahead and send out a press build for uh Kingdom Guardians. It has a good number of followers. Let's get this thing printing as well. We'll go for 125,000 copies as per usual. Canvas 9, maximum 125,000 as well, just to make sure that everything is printing as much as it should be. We are printing Saturn, and then the Saturn controller, are we printing that? We are as well. So both of these are being printed. Good number of bugs being fixed, which is great. So both of those should be fairly high quality i would imagine i just I'm, I'm hoping for the best we also we have a lot of things going out this year everything that's lined up is going out this year which is this is a big year that's a lot of products to put out as as for one company that's a lot of marketing that we're gonna have to do as well that's i feel sorry for the marketing teams because they're gonna have a really rough time especially since the first one coming up it's gonna be longsword 14 it's releasing next month. We're at $674 million, $685 million. If we have a look at old companies, we're still the only company worth a billion dollars. We still have the most in the bank and we still have two subsidiaries that are doing pretty well. This one's actually climbing up a little bit, which is great. If we look at your products and recent releases, you did put something out in December 22. It is still unavoidable, 166 million in profit. And if we again look at your details, you have three things going out this year as well. So basically, Nerdrasoft across the main company and the subsidiary, at least this subsidiary, I think we have like 10 things going out this year. And then my other subsidiary, if we look at your products, your most recent release was also very good, which is great news. If we go to your details, you are doing record shop this year. So that's, we've got like, we easily have 10 things going out across the three companies that make up sort of Nerdrasoft. That's that's a lot. <laughs> that's that's a lot of things. Longsword 14 is outstanding and inspiring, which is great news. Let's make sure that we are in fact uh, going to be printing that. So we'll do 125,000 copies as per usual. And let's also make sure that we're porting things. So Longsword 14 port it. It is going to be uh, not you guys. We'll just do the porting stuff and that'll be all right. Sort by release date and let's move it. Can I put it on? Okay, we're releasing a console. Of course, I can't put antivirus in a console. Active users. Let's just do anything above 250,000 to make sure that we're good on that. Vector 9. Let's have a look and see well, anything above 250,000. We'll do that as well. Hellshock 3 is the interesting one, though, because I think it can go on Saturn. So I do want that to be a thing. 
so we're gonna do smart online four and we're gonna do saturn as the two port jobs for that and then i want to say that we probably also want to look at kingdom reborn and i'm gonna port that over to i could port it to a bunch of these guys i'm gonna take that chance and i'm gonna say saturn as well now that's gonna be a lot of porting jobs let's start with whatever has the least which is looking to be hellshock three so we'll go ahead and get that done hopefully as quickly as possible and we'll see how things go and it is going pretty quickly which is great so that's basically what we're going to be doing with kingdom guardians as soon as it goes out next month we're going to flip the uh the porting teams around and have them focus on kingdom guardians to make sure that it is on uh saturn you know as saturn releases which is kind of the kind of the goal and looking at it hellshock 3 is also going to be on saturn when saturn releases so again it means that day one our console will have a couple of games on it which is fantastic news what do you want you want either a fix you want i'll give you a fixed rate that's fine we have more money than yes yeah, we have we have a lot of money we have a lot of money it's it's that simple we have a lot of money uh wave 15 is it any good outstanding inspiring we did 5.5 million last month in longsword 14 we're in a really good place with this company and i'm very comfortable with that i also don't remember why i've locked in at 125,000 copies of everything but it just seems to be a nice little spot so that works for me wave 15 i'm not gonna bother porting just yet i would like to focus on this and we do actually have to release kingdom guardians this month as well since it is technically april let's just do it now and see how it goes and see what people think of it should have stayed in the last decade that's not good uh great quality okay that i can deal with that i can absolutely deal with Fifty thousand to the marketing team to get kingdom guardians uh going out there support has to be a thing let's move marketing up to the top make that a top priority sweet pro and that marketing it's whatever uh kingdom reborn cancel support for that i'm really not too interested let's move you up to the top like this let's have doors be a slightly lower priority hell shock that's the original hell shock still a lot of active users but i'm going to say that we cancel support for it astro phone we can keep supporting that liquid obviously we want to support that only 23.5 million users though and sweet pro we can keep supporting that as well so that's okay we're doing all right across the board let me make sure that kingdom guardians we are going to be printing you so oh well no we want to port you as well so let's oh that's a lot of active users that we're missing out on uh it's going to be delayed getting onto saturn but that's okay i'm not well i am worried about it but it's it's going to be okay uh the tech levels are way down there this took way too long to develop so we're going to have to throw so many people at this to make it good but let's go ahead and use print stop 10 just because we can 3d editor is going to be at either of these honestly we'll use cinema 40 premium 2 because that's a, i think that's a subsidiary and then the audio tool is again it, it really doesn't matter we're just going to use the latest actually we'll use this one because it's actually we'll use the great one we'll do we'll do that it's going to take less than a year to update this which is great that's going to be my what are we doing kingdom guardians porting updating that's good and core teams doing that as well yeah let's just have those guys work on on all of that so let's make that a top priority because honestly saturn well actually yeah this is about the only thing the core teams are going to be doing so that should hopefully work out we're not unfortunately going to be releasing things exactly how i'd hope to be releasing them the hellshock port's taking a little bit of time which isn't great but we'll we'll get there we'll get we'll get to where i want to be eventually uh move kingdom guardians up to here this is gonna be waiting for release so let's yeah let's let's get this going now and uh just hope for the best that's that's kind of the plan with all of these we're just gonna gonna hope for the best with them and and see how it goes now this you know this really is this really is gonna take a minute to get done it's only 25 percent done at the minute and that's that's not good although it is it is picking up i forgot we had the night shifts working on it so not the end of the world oh well did it make money though that is the question a subsidiary doesn't have a lead designer and can't finish any projects as a result interesting how ooh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I have to? Do I have to give them a lead designer? Huh? Or is this? Are these? Just, these are just people at that company, right? I think. That's. I'm. I'm assuming these are. I. I've. I actually have no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea how that works. Can I just set you as the lead designer? There you go. That seems fine. You're good at games, which is what you're, these guys are doing a lot of. Uh, they still have $200 million. So yeah, they'll be fine. A lot of changes going on at Nerdersoft here. A lot of changes. Let's see. Kingdom Guardians. Past month, $3.6 million. Now that... That's a bit of a step in the right direction. Kingdom Reborn only ever did about $12 million in total. So... Maybe Guardians is going to be a bit of a bit of a course correction for the franchise. That would definitely be nice. It would definitely be nice. So, yeah, here's uh, <laughs> here's, here's definitely hoping for the best on that one. Hopefully, we can get the port over to a bunch of new systems as well. That's going to be another couple of million potential consumers for it. And then hopefully Saturn blows up a little bit in a good way, and uh, you know we get huge success there too. Now, let's see. Hellshock 4 is outstanding. It's inspiring. It's an FPS game. We've just done two games back to back, technically in the same universe as well. Hellshock 4 could be like a spin off of Kingdom Guardians. I don't know how that's necessarily going to work, but uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we're going to imagine for that. Let's get it ported to a bunch of things. Let's get it printed. 125000. And let me make sure that that port job is not quite as much of a priority. Actually, wait, yeah, hold on a minute. I also need to make sure it's going to Saturn as well. So that does need to be a priority. Uh, you know what, Kingdom Guardians, where, what is going on? What? Uh, hold on a minute, Kingdom Reborn canceled that port job. What? So something's just caught fire because everyone's just evacuated the building. My security room is on fire. <laughs> Let's fix fix everything, please. Restore the furniture. Everybody needs to get back to work. All right. You're all good. <laughs> You're all fine. How can you not find a stove? What do you mean you can't find a stove? We've literally never had that problem. They're probably complaining because the building was on fire, which admittedly perfectly valid reason to complain. Your workplace is burning down. You're not happy about it. I get it. Anyway, it is now technically June 2025. Let's get Saturn out the door. We're going to release it. No idea if it's good. It's magnificent. Oh, that's the controller. Okay. Mm, less good, but okay. Um, <laughs> we're not going to order copies. I don't need to do that. Uh, we're printing copies, which is fine. Marketing campaign of 50,000 for that guy saturn itself is they don't know who we are great quality okay all right i'm feeling a little bit more confident about saturn as opposed to the saturn controller which is uh which is fine by me we are i think uh printing this thing but let's just make sure that we're printing it. Let's also go to the add-ons and go to the Saturn controller, sort by release dates as well, and start printing you 125. That's 50,000. You know what? Let's do 125000 just to make sure that we're doing it. Manufacturing, hardware manufacturing, goal of 150, goal of 100. Let me just change both of those to 150,000. Okay. So the Saturn controller also needs to be assigned to an assembly line to make sure we can do 720,000 of those. Good Lord. All right. That should be fine. We're now making both of those. I think we have some of those in stock. This is outstanding. That's the controller. It's also unavoidable marketing. It was quite cheap to make. And then Saturn itself is outstanding. It's inspiring. Sparse marketing, though, and needs 15 million to break even. So that might be a bit rough, but... We'll see how it goes. Let's make sure that everything's being supported properly as well. So Saturn's going to go up here above Kingdom Guardians. We're going to say Saturn has a priority of, uh, we'll say we'll say 10. Guardians will be about a 7. Doors can come down to like a 5. Astrophone's going to come down to like a 2. Liquid's going to come down to like a, I'm going to say about a 4. For, uh, for Liquid there. So Doors, where did I put Doors? About 5. Yeah, that's fine. 
and then Sweet Pro, eh, bring it down to like a like a two, so that we kind of have that as our our priorities. When it comes to marketing, we kind of need everything to be a, a bit of a priority here. Doors two definitely doesn't need to be a seven; it can be a five. Saturn's gonna be a ten. The controller is gonna be a ten. Uh, and then Kingdom Guardians is actually going to be about an 8. A lot of money on marketing right there, to be quite honest with you, but I think it's going to be worth it. So, let's speed things up a little bit. We're not going to be getting any profits in immediately, which is fine. Kingdom Guardians, 2 million right there. And uh, I guess we should also look at updating Saturn as quickly as possible. It isn't horribly outdated, though. It didn't really take long to make in the slightest, which is great. So let's give this to my console teams and see if I can get them to update it really, really quickly. So source controls there. That's fine. Less than a year to do it should be fine. You guys can prioritize that update. And I'm assuming it's going to be quick because we're really not bringing this. Yeah, that's going to take no time at all, which is so good. That's that is what we want to do. Get this thing just fully updated before it even goes out the properly goes out the door that's that's perfect can i update the controller is that a thing no there's nothing we do there which is fine do we want to do we don't necessarily need to do any more joysticks for this thing um i think that's a little bit unnecessary can i make like a seek i can't make a sequel to the controller can i no okay so that's yeah that so we don't I don't think we need to do anything there. We could start working on a sequel to uh, to Saturn, but I kind of want to see if it's successful. My marketing teams are having a bit of, a bit of trouble here. So you know what? Let me get my, I might want around the clock marketing, honestly. A night shift marketing team might be a good idea. Given how busy they're going to be with projects that I'm putting out myself, it might really help us out. So we have marketing here. Does my marketing team actually have a leader right now? Because I'm noticing there's not many people in there. They could have gone home. There's 12 of them, which is, is that right? Are there 12 desks in there? There are. Okay, so that checks out. Does the marketing lead not have an office? They do. So marketing, let me just double check that my marketing team actually does have a leader. They do. So there's, there's room for one more in that office, basically. So I've always been running a little bit short my marketing team. That's great to know. Uh, marketing employees, or not employees, marketing HR management. Give me 12 of those. And also, we'll do fast learner as a trait just because I can, and that'll be all right. And that should keep us pretty good. Everyone should be in there as employees. Yeah, they're all in there as, as service, which is fine. Basically, we want to rename this team to marketing team day. And then we want to uh, copy this team and have marketing team night. Marketing team night is going to come in at uh, 6 p.m., leaving at 2 a.m. And we're just going to have them do much of the same stuff, really. So once again, we are considered the best employer. Best product is not me in the slightest, which is a bit disappointing. But Longsword 14 did get something. No idea why this is going so slowly. And best designer was also not me. This was for Loretta Bond. Honestly, that's fine. I I don't I don't know who Loretta Bond is. I have no no idea who Loretta Bond is. So if we sort by names, we can. Uh, I'm sure we can find Loretta Bond. So you're right here, antivirus team. Hasn't Loretta had? I'm pretty sure Loretta's had awards before, actually. If I'm not mistaken, where does my antivirus team actually? Uh, work. What floor? Oh, they're in here. So that's antivirus team leader. Where? Oh, they're in here. Yeah, we have we have an award in here already for Loretta Bond. Good lord. Can I? You know what? <laughs> Can I assign this chair? Uh, assign to employee Loretta Bond. There you go. And then you know what, Loretta? Congratulations. You're also going to be getting your. Uh, <laughs> you're also going to be getting your uh, your other award, which can sit right next to. That looks terrifying. That's that's genuinely quite uh, it's quite unnerving, is uh, is what that is. But you know what? Ooh, wrong button. That's that's fine. Congratulations, Loretta. You've got your own desk and you've got your two statues, 
which were a couple of years apart, but honestly, I'm, I'm here for it. That's great. Now it turns out Saturn actually did really well. 6.7 million last month is not bad. Not many refunds either. The add-on on the other hand is, uh, could be doing better. Uh, expenses are definitely up there. I'm not sure why they're up there, but they are, they are definitely up there. Oh, cause we haven't sold anything. It's because we're making the, there were no controllers in stock. I think that's kind of what, I don't think I ever assigned that to the production line. So we've just sold a bunch of the control, the consoles without any controllers. That's, um, <laughs> that's not good, but it's, it's all right. Let me, um, let me go ahead and assign my, my two marketing teams to every project now to make sure that, uh, this all actually gets done which is only going to be good for us. It means that uh, just more time in the day, really, to, to work on things. It also means that because the second marketing team is going to be working past midnight, we get a little bit of a head start on a, on a month's marketing as well. So across the board, that should be fantastic. Now, Canvas 9 has just gone out the door. Is it any good? It's outstanding. It's inspiring. This company is just knocking it out of the park. It's just knocking it out of the park every single time. It's just, it's just, it's cinema is what it is. Every single thing we put, it's just pure cinema. <laughs> it's, that's, that's the way I'm choosing to look at it, uh, which is, which is great. Also looks like that second marketing team was uh, absolutely the right call. Absolutely the right idea. We get everything done. And uh, let's see, Canvas 8 no longer has any users, Longsword no longer has any users, fixed rate, except how did we do? Saturn just did 9 million, the controller did 1.6, Kingdom Guardians just did 3, and uh, like I said, we get that little head start on things there as well. Now, it looks like this update is nearly done, which is fine, I'm, I'm willing to be patient with the, uh, with this update. We also can't keep up with support for Hellshock 3 and Liquid, apparently. Which I guess makes sense because we have changed the priorities a little bit there. So that says to me that we also need a night shift support team. So let's... Oh man, we're just switching. We're getting we're getting night shift everything now. Um, okay. That's that's my products list. That's not what I wanted. Mark, uh, manage teams, marketing teams there. Support team. Oh man. We really are just doing, really are just doing everything now. And there we go. We have ourselves a night shift support team. These guys are only going to be working on tasks that I assign them to. They're not going to be doing any automated stuff. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with that because it means they can focus in really nicely on liquid to make sure that those uh, tickets all get sorted out. Now, let's go ahead and accept all of these. My hosting deals are getting canceled here and there. That's totally fine. How are we looking? So Saturn just did 8.8 .8 million. The controller did 3.8. Kingdom Guardians 5.8. And Doors 2 just did 1.075 million. So what that says to me, and that's also not taking into account the fact that Canvas 9 just did 7 million. We just got, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Kingdom Guardians at the very least is considerably more successful than Reborn was, which is great. Uh, Saturn, the add-on for Saturn is really suffering a little bit. It seems that the Saturn controller is very expensive to make. Very, very expensive to make. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, <laughs> how many is it sell? I don't know how much it's even selling. It's, it's doing all right. It's just really, really expensive to make. It should have been more expensive when we, uh, we, we should have sold it for more, but you know what? It's, it's totally fine. How are we doing in profits right now? 31 million? Yeah, we're doing we're doing all right. I think 2025 has been another really good year for this company. We've released one, two, three, four, five, six things so far. That's all we're gonna be putting out. There's nothing else going out at all. So you know what? I'm okay with that. I I'm I'm kind of okay with that. We're also struggling with Hellshock support, apparently. So you know what? Let's let's put the night shift team on on Hellshock as well just to make sure that people are not going to be abandoning that franchise because we're not supporting it properly. We'll just make sure that we're uh make sure that we're looking after it. And you know, I've got to say I 
this this it's it's weird man it's really weird we've got one more king doom game to do and then i think I, I think even if it is a runaway success i think we leave the franchise there that just seems like the right thing to do king doom infinite is is going to be the final entry and it's going to be the only one that didn't have me as the ceo of the company so we'll see how that works out we do seem to be in a position where obviously astro phone didn't really make a profit which was unfortunate it did sell see that's what's scary about it not making a profit it sold 417,000 units and still somehow didn't make a profit <laughs> which is yeah I don't like that uh Saturn on the other hand I guess was just cheaper to make that's I guess that's how we'll look at it it's made a profit but uh, so basically we've had a phone that did okay i guess actually it was probably just manufacturing costs for the phone that was probably the problem but uh regardless we've um we've hit a really good place with nerdrosoft i unfortunately think that means that we don't have too much longer with this iteration of the company which means that this might be we might be approaching the end of our visit to software inc this year which is again a little bit of uh, bittersweet uh <laughs> we just made so much money we just said 37 million good lord uh but yeah i think you know we are we're probably getting there i'm not gonna say that we're, we're there just yet because uh we're not but definitely definitely approaching that uh that spot i think maybe we'll aim for episode 20 as the uh Maybe we aim for episode 20 as the last of this this version of Nerdsoft. It also feels weird that we haven't done much in terms of building. Usually, usually I build more, but you know what? We can we can reminisce about what I did or didn't build when we get to uh we do get to episode 20. So I think we're gonna leave it there for today. A hugely, hugely successful uh run, hugely successful episode for Nerdsoft today, which I'm very happy about. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's also just a, a, a big turning point for the company, you know? I'm no longer the, <laughs> I'm no longer the CEO. I'm gone. I retired. I retired after 45 years with the company. That's, that's wild. And it really is. Saturn's 9.6 million going up to 10.7. Controller 3.9. Kingdom Guardians 8.8. .8. That's great so good <laughs> i'm so happy that kingdom guardians is getting uh getting the attention it deserves as well so that's 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 so so good all right i'll tell you what we're gonna leave it there for today thank you so much for watching everybody it has been an absolute pleasure as always and as always i'll see you next time Bye bye